charge in Word. Uh, we use it quite a bit in the school offices at LPS uh, for creating labels, drafting letters, things like that when we have many recipients uh, that we want to address individually but um, have a standardized letter or label look. So Mail Merge utilizes both Excel and Microsoft Word. I'm doing Microsoft Word on a Mac, um, so this might look a little different, but it all goes about the same way. So today I'm going to show you how to do mail merge with labels. I've already downloaded some sample um, spreadsheets uh, with label with address labels and things on it uh, in order to do this for you. So first what we're going to start with is opening the mail merge. You can do it a couple different ways. You can choose it by label or you can do mail merge manager, also called the wizard. Um, we're going to go ahead and just do the mail merge manager. So we're going to create a new document and we said we're going to do labels today. As you can see, there's a few different other options, but we're going to choose labels. Here's where you choose uh, your label template. I'm going to use 8160 address labels from Avery. Go ahead and click OK. It's going to create a new document here. You'll notice it says next record. Basically what this is doing is is it's coding for you um, and pulling the next record from that Excel spreadsheet that it's going to reference. So here's where we go on to the next section here where we're selecting our recipients list. We're going to go ahead and get our list and we're going to open our data source. We already have a list sitting on my computer. So when I open it, I'm going to find my data source, which this is my example. Uh, file here. We're going to hit open. Go ahead and hit OK. And I want to do the entire workbook with the entire worksheet and hit OK. All right. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to edit our labels. So this is what we want it to look like. Now on my Excel spreadsheet, let me open it for you so you can see what we started with here. At the top you'll notice column headers. That's what it's referencing as far as uh, the different recipient list pieces. And then it goes down and it goes, okay, I'm going to pull the first name of row two, last name of row two. And it's going to go ahead and go through all of that and pull all of that information into our mail merge back over here in Word. So you'll notice the merge fields, first name, last name, all the rest of those column headers are here. So how do I want our label to look? That's what we're doing here. So for example, if I was sending this out to companies and I wanted a care of for a first and last name of a person along with their address, I would set it up like this. I want it to pull the company name. The next line I want care of, and then I want the first name, and then I want a space between the first name and last name. The next line I want to go ahead and put the address in. Then I would like the city, comp, oop, I would like the city, comma, space, state, space, zip code. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now if you've noticed my labels, I cannot see all my data on here. That's going to be a problem when I go ahead to merge it all because not all my information is going to show up on there. I'm going to go ahead and hit Command A to select all. Now with this I can go ahead and change the size of my font. Notice how it changes all the font on the entire page. Size 9 is pretty small, so let's go ahead and change our spacing of our paragraphs. We'll back up this to an 11. Okay, so as you can see it's pulling our company name, care of, first name, last name, address, city, state, and zip. Then it goes to the next row and it's going to do the whole thing over and over and over again. Okay, now what I want to do is you have different options here where you can filter your recipients, 
We're not going to do any of that because I want to see all of it. Then you can preview your results or complete your merge. If you're ready to go, just go ahead and you can either view your um, data here where it's going to show you what it all looks like. And this is showing a very small preview of it. If you go back, clicking that ABC, you're going to see the code again. You can either send it straight to the printer or you can merge it to a new document so you can see it. We're going to merge it to a new document and it's merging everything. So it's going to merge all of those, those lines on that Excel spreadsheet. Look at that. Now it's ready to just hit print. So it's uh, done all of your the work for you. Makes it super duper easy. Again, we use it a lot in LPS and this is a really fast way of transferring your Excel spreadsheets into labels, letters, envelopes, 